Hey guys, it's me, Maddie. Just got off the set of my 90s hip hop video shoot. <laughs> Just kidding. But today I'm gonna tell you three tips to manage your anxiety and depression without medication. Uh, first, I wanna talk just a little bit about what pharmaceutical uh, antidepressants are actually doing. So I took Lexapro. Oh, also just little information on who I even am. Uh, I'm Madison Palika. <laughs> And I'm a HeartMath certified mentor and I'm the author of Make Your Own Magic. I basically have gone through this like five year intense holistic health journey. And I am just ready to share everything that I've learned with people because it's literally changed my life in more ways than I can even count. And I feel like it's really, really important stuff. So I took Lexapro and the description of what Lexapro does is that it affects chemicals in the brain that may be altered in people suffering from depression or anxiety. It says it's used to deprete, to deprete, to treat depressive disorder and anxiety. But then you look at the side effects and the very first thing that it says, mind you, this is for people with anxiety and depression. The first side effect says, some young people have thoughts about suicide when first taking an antidepressant. Uh, taking an antidepressant during late pregnancy can cause serious medical complications in the baby. So if you're taking these, not good for your baby, or you can stop taking them when you're pregnant and then get majorly depressed, which probably also isn't good for your baby. These are some of the common symptoms. Painful urination, dizziness, drowsiness, tiredness, weakness, feeling anxious. <laughs> Feeling anxious is one of the side effects for the anti-anxiety medicine. Like what? Increased muf muscle movements or feeling shaky. Sleep problems, sweating, dry mouth, loss of appetite, nausea, constipation, yawning. I actually had that. I like could not stop yawning for the first few days that I was taking Lexapro. Nosebleeds, heavy periods, decreased sex drive, difficulty having an orgasm. So if it helps your anxiety, which it might not because one of the side effects of it is anxiety, then there's like 15 other side effects that it's probably gonna affect you in some way. So that's what we're offered with pharmaceuticals. <laughs> just insane. Like I grew up thinking that it was just like the save all solution. And then once I started doing research, I was like, wait, these actually kind of suck. I just want to point out how your body is literally created with everything that it needs to heal. Like everything on this planet, plants, trees, the animals, water, everything we have is what we need to survive and be healthy and be happy. Like we already have all of the solutions. So I have this quote from Dr. William Lee and he said, I've always been fascinated with the body's incredible ability to heal and repair itself. When you skin your knee, for example, you get to witness the body's healing process firsthand. The body clotting, the formation of a scab, then blood vessels bringing oxygen for healing, and finally, the formation of new skin. Frankly, it's amazing how the body can heal itself without any help from the outside. I kind of, you know, grasped this when I was like, oh my gosh, I used to have a cut on my elbow and now it looks like nothing was ever there. But so I was like, if your physical body can do like miracles like these all the time, then what kind of miracles can your mind do? Like, like on levels unseen, your mind and your emotions, like what can we do to be healing ourselves the way that our body heals itself? You know, cause I was trying to get away from medication like at all costs. So I have another quote, this is from Joe Marchant, author of Cure. And she says, we know that our thoughts and perceptions affect our physiology in situations from stress to sexual arousal. You can't have a thought without a concurrent physical change in the neurons of the brain. So things you think actually have physical effects. And she continues to say, our mental state can be crucial in determining our experience of symptoms such as pain, nausea, fatigue, and depression. Now, this is where it gets cool. 
taking a placebo painkiller causes the release of pain relieving endorphins in the brain. When you experience a placebo response, it's not imaginary or all in your mind. Uh, but it's not all in your mind. Your symptoms are actually eased by physical changes, just like those triggered by drugs. So imagine that by thinking different thoughts or by thinking that you took something that's gonna cure you, your body actually releases the same chemicals and the same hormones that you're taking a medication to release. Whereas these medication has all of these side effects that suck and your body just does naturally what it needs to do to heal you. I have four things that you can do right now to take advantage of your body's natural ability to heal. You know, your natural ability for your thoughts and your emotions to have an effect on your physical body. So the first one is to start to breathe more deeply and slowly. Maybe like four seconds in, four seconds out. Like we rarely stop to take deep breaths, but it seriously changes so much. Two, think about someone or something you really love and appreciate. For me, the easiest thing to do is I literally think of my roommate's dog and what it's like when he's cute and snuggly. And then just like sit in that feeling. That's number three is just like soak that feeling in, like prolong it as long as you can so that you see the world through that perspective. And then your body starts creating those chemicals and those hormones. So you don't have to take an anti-anxiety medicine. You're just focusing on positive feelings and your, your body will take care of the rest. Actually, yeah, the, it's three, three things. Sorry guys, <laughs> those are the three things. But when you're doing this, your body's literally producing like 1400 different chemicals that go along with anti-aging, happiness, uh, cellular regener regeneration. So not only is it keeping your mind clear and like smoothing out your emotions, but it's literally making your body younger and healthier. And it like builds up this storage space inside of you where if you were to experience something that gives you anxiety and depression again, you've like stored up these, these happiness chemicals. So it, it might take a little dip out of that storage, but you don't experience one little trigger and just feel completely drained. Um, and I go way, way, way deeper into all of this in my new course called From Stressed to Your Best. It's a six week course. There are videos with every week. Every week you get a PDF. There's a bunch of worksheets with different exercises. I think there's like 30 plus self-reflection questions. You're gonna learn six certified heart math techniques that are super easy. You can do them anytime, anywhere. So if you're interested, the link is in my bio. There is a one-time payment or there's a payment plan, which I know is a lot easier for people. So just figured I would offer that. And I promise you it's seriously so life-changing because everything is connected. And this is one of the things that helped me to manage my anxiety, like my crippling anxiety and my stress that I, I could do this and manage my stress and my anxiety without having to take medications. And for me, that was huge because I know the cost and the bad effects of what pharmaceuticals can do. So again, if you're interested, that link is in my bio. There's a one-time payment or a payment plan. It's called From Stress to Your Best. It's just six weeks long and I think it could change your life.